um, forthcoming with, let's look and see how we can help our job seekers currently. And so those workshops are actually available virtually. Um, and you can contact any workforce office and they can send you a link so that you can actually, um, okay, can actually look through and see which one's best for you. Our programs for WIOA, there are things that are required. And so one of them is, you do. You don't necessarily have to be a U.S. citizen, but you do have to have a Social Security card. The Social Security card is what is used to identify that you're able to work here in the United States. So even when refugees come and they come, they're available or able to go to work, they're issued a Social Security card. So you do have to have that. Um, we work with individuals that are ready to go to work here and not necessarily um, are they living outside of the confines of the United States. But they can, if they have in, if they have access to um, the internet, they can actually take any of the classes through the academy. But not necessarily can they register for um, the WIOA program. Jose, you can move on. So, so we try to offer as many things as possible. So, at the end of the day, if you want, if you have any questions, please reach out to Jose and myself. We are readily and able. Um, I know from your last group, we had a few people reach out to us. I was able to correspond um, with the individual and spoke with her. Actually, called um, her and I connected. She had a few questions, uh, which I was able to direct her, which is great. So, guys, I do want you to know that we look um, at the WIO program. We not only is it a employment program, but it's one that connects you with employers, but it also will help you with those areas, those barriers that you may have that you need to review and say, how do I address this? Often when people are interviewing, there's some things that they're unsure as to how to address. And depending upon the various level, what position you're in as a project manager, or if you've gotten your PMP certification and you don't have this experience, or you don't, you're not really sure what direction to take it in. We do have the opportunity to work with you and to talk with you and to be able to look and see how we can assist you and provide you with some guidance. So again, at the end of the day, our job really is to be able to um, to help. And so, yes, there. I see. I'm going to address programs or questions in the chat right now. So I do see. Do we have? Um, programs that work with individuals who are older. Yes, we have connected with AARP for those individuals who are 50 plus, and we have workshops that we conduct for them and we work with them um, to be able to assist. And I also really will um, tell this to anyone who is in the 50 plus age group, connect with AARP. It is a great organization. A lot of times employers will connect with that organization when they're seeking individuals who are tenured and who have great skills, they connect and they actually do it by whether it is part-time or full-time. They have those opportunities available. Um, for us, we work with everybody. If you're 18 plus, you just have to be at least 18 years old. If you're working with the We Owe Adult Program, for our young adult program, we have one that's 16 to 24 that we work with young adults. But for the program that I work with, it is 18 plus. Um, yes, Jose's email is correct. He does not have a dot in between. Um, when I came into the organization um, eight years ago, uh, they started putting dots. And so, uh, and Jose's been there obviously longer than I am because he doesn't have a dot. I'm kind of jealous. But for me, I have the dot, and Jose does not. Well, so, don't, don't be, don't be jealous, Kelly, because the reason I don't have a dot is because I started with workforce when we had this, and we had the little blue thing we had to put on the projector. <laughs> so that's, that's how long it's been. It's been a long time. Uh, I did want to add right quick, and I, I know we want to get to Coach D, but uh, I wanted to add, because I forgot to mention, uh, just let us know how we can best help you when you make that phone call, okay? We may need to break it down in different appointments, uh, but it, mm -hmm. you know, veterans, young adults, all the workers, if the layoff, if somebody experienced a layoff and he has to do because of trade, the job for going overseas or foreign competition, then let us know that as well, because we do, we can help you tap into another whole umbrella of resources mm -hmm. 
it'll go under the trade program. Uh, if you know, if 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 you're eligible, if the company had to file a petition and so forth, a lot of information there. Just let us know. The more you share with us individually, the best we're going to be able to help you individually. Thank you. Right. Kelly? And every pro everything is unique to you guys. So please keep that in mind because not every situation is exactly alike. Um, as far as we owe it, as far as registering or becoming part and rolling into WIOA, there are some um, requirements. So let me go over those with you very quickly um, so that you're aware of what the, how the program and how it may impact you. Again, there are two different types of individuals. If you have been laid off and terminated due to no fault of your own, you're considered a dislocated worker. We will look at your current skill set and see is is necessary training the vehicle that you need to help you to become employed, or if you have all the necessary, and we just need to connect you with the employer. Um, we also, for those individuals who may have um, quit or were fired, we will look at your income for the past six months, as well as if you're married, we'll look at your spouse's income for the past six months, because then we will go back and there are income requirements for those individuals who we consider adults. Um, not in the traditional sense of we know 18 and over, but adult, according to we owe, if somebody has been fired or quit, um, they can be currently working. We do have to look at your income for the past six months, as well as that of your spouses. That does not apply to someone who is a dislocated worker, someone who has been laid off or terminated due to no fault of their own. So there's two separate criteria. And as we come in and the paperwork that we provide, and once we receive it back from you, we can tell you which area you fall into and if there's any additional information that is needed. And we owe the guidelines are laid out um, specifically to help individuals um, understand what is needed, what we do, and who this program um, actually applies to and is for. But I would love to say we have something for everyone because even if you weren't eligible as an adult, we do have what we call um, employment services that can assist and help still guide you to employment opportunities. So I do want to let everyone know that. Um, so recent college graduates, they're not considered dislocated workers, but they, also, they could be eligible for what we consider our adult program or our young adult program, which means they graduated college, and they're not working, they don't have any employment, um, they're 18 plus years older. We don't look, if they're living at home with their parents or if they're living on their own, we do not look at their parents' income. They are their own individual. If they're married, we would look at their spouse's income. If they're not married, then we would just, they would be considered a family of one and that's how we would work with them. So they may fit into either our young adult program or they may fit the eligibility requirements for the adult program. So I hope that answers that question. Are there any others? I want to make sure um, that we have done everything possible and answered all of your questions. I don't want anybody to walk away um, with, any, with any additional questions. If you do have them and you want to contact both myself and Jose, um, please note our information is on the screen. Um, and we are readily and available to speak with you um, about Workforce Solutions Greater Dallas, the WIOA program, or any opportunities that we have to put you back to work. Thank you guys so much for your time this morning. And you're going to have a phenomenal opportunity to learn some additional things from Coach D, um, your rebranding, which I can't tell you, connecting that with, with what you learned today about WIOA is just a win-win situation. So thank you so much this morning for your time. Um, I'd love to make sure the, the one that's gonna happen on the 27th, that's our success story. Um, I'm excited about hearing. I think I'm gonna come in on the 27th just to hear about uh, how wonderful and how great the experience he had in regards to WIOA. So thank you guys, have a great one. Um, if you have no more questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us. And we just thank you for giving us the opportunity to share. Um, we always say one of the best kept secrets here in the Metroplex uh, for letting us share with you. Please share with your friends, your family, and anyone else that you can think of that may need to have this information.
Thank you, guys. Allie, I have one yes, question before you go. I should have asked it a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> um, it's okay. You know, with so many companies laying off at this time, and then, you know, how tech companies were sending jobs offshore and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, I've been man a manager in some of those companies. And of course they give us information if we have to lay somebody off in our organization. And um, I was just wondering, do you keep in contact with companies that have um, these programs going on where they've issued a WARN Act or something, or do they have to reach out to you? You know, when a company is doing a layoff, normally they do a warrant with, you just said, a warrant notice to the state. Um, and that's a program that when that happens, Jose will normally reach out to the employer with his wonderful, shining, great personality and tell them about <laughs> all the services that we offer to um, the individuals that are going to be impacted. Um, as Jose alluded to earlier, for those individuals whose jobs may have been over sent overseas or been impacted through some other area related to um, foreign trade. We actually have a separate program for that right. um, called the TAA program. And we are able to, there's a notification because we are provided with a list of individuals that, um, that are impacted by that. And they usually receive a notification. The other opportunity is someone comes in and says, hey, my work for this company, my job is sent overseas and it's themselves and a couple of other employees they can file a petition as well for that particular program to participate in. But we are aware when someone does, um, Jose gets notifications every day, he forwards them to me. So that helps us to be aware of what's coming down the pipeline, who we can help. Um, and what's interesting, sometimes a company may be in Dallas, but many of the in people that people who are gonna be impacted may be outside of Dallas County. They may be in other counties, so they may be approached by other um, workforce workforce areas because they'll work specifically with the one in their county, not necessarily where the employer is unless they live in that county. And Jose oh, may have see. something to add to that as well. Okay. Thank oh, no, you. I mean, that, that covers it, but we do outreach every employer that we know may be experiencing a layoff, whether or not they filed a warrant notice. So if we know about it from someone that's uh, walked in at the workforce center and said they got laid off, or if we hear about it on the media or social media, um, if we see a, a drive by, see a store that's going out of business, uh, we reach out to those employers in, in hopes of connecting and be able to offer specialized services for them. And we do want to stay connected with them, uh, you know, before, during, and after uh, the transition. But I mean, that okay. pretty much covers it. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. If you don't have any other questions, Kelly and I are going to log off and we're going to leave you in perfect hands here with Coach D uh, and Pierre. Mm -hmm.